And Quadrado. And he takes up. Oh, my goodness! What an outrageous hit! I can't believe he took it on from there. Good evening and welcome ahead of what should be a pulsating night of football. I'm Derek Ray here on the commentary box and I'm joined for commentary by Lee Dixon. And we're certainly in the mood for Champions League group stage action. It is Juventus taking on Real Madrid. Yeah, the long road to the final starts here in game one. Always think that if you win your home games and don't lose your away games, you've got a good chance of progressing. Unsurprisingly, we're going to focus on Cristiano Ronaldo. What should we expect from him today, Lee? Well, he's arguably one of the best players, if not the best player in the world. Do you know what, Derek? What his best quality is, he fully understands what upsets defenders. Well, it was an incredible campaign, wasn't it? It's hard enough to win the Champions League, but to go on and repeat that success is really, really difficult. But they are a massive club, big expectations, top players. They need a bit of luck along the way. They certainly had some of that last season, but you expect them to go deep into this competition. Can they go all the way, though? And the starting lineup for Juventus. Wojciech Szczęsny between the posts. Miralem Pjanic plays alongside Blaise Matuidi in the centre of the pitch. And the main striker is the unmistakable Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Marcelo starts with Carvajal as fullbacks. Luka Modric plays with Toni Kroos in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Karim Benzema. It's the opening match day. Champions League group stage match day one underway. Janic now. Incisive pass from Douglas Costa. Well, the cross needed to be better than that one. A Juventus corner forthcoming. Corner delivered by Miralem Pjanic. And a half-baked clearance. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. And they'll have to throw it back in play. Pjanic now. It's with Dybala. Quadrado, can they get themselves in front here? Goalkeeper's ball, and was always going to be. Well, back in season 1992-93, the old European Cup as it was, became the UEFA Champions League. Back in your playing days, Lee. Yeah, absolutely, I can just about remember that far back, <laughs> Derek, to be honest with you, but players were a little bit cautious about the new Champions League and how it was going to take shape and the format etc can they convert well the post getting in the way there well I suppose Derek technically that's as close as you can get without it going in the goal Cristiano Ronaldo Janic now the Tweedy and with that the attack fizzles out Fine goalkeeping to push that away. Well, he was just a fraction offside then. That's all he needs to be, a fraction. And it was so close. 
Well, we're all looking at the forwards to win games. I'm telling you now, goalkeepers win games too. What a save. Quadrado. Tony Kroos. Given up, and he's broken free. Can he beat the goalkeeper? Ronaldo! The opening goal. Due reward for their efforts. Well, they've made the pressure count. They really deserve this lead. Well, just look at this. They all back off him, and he takes the advantage. He goes through one, two, three. In the end, it's a wonderful solo goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. away again with Juventus in front the ball with Luka Modric now Quadrado Pjanic now Costa with it the object of the exercise from Juventus is to get it forward that's what they're doing Quadrado Juan Quadrado tucking it away Hit the target, tick, power, tick, goal, tick. It's going their way, 2-0. Now Casemiro. Trailing as they are. What will be the thinking in the camp as you see it, Lee? Well, this Madrid side just needs to up the tempo a little bit in the second half. They've had some joy, especially in midfield and up front. The team's nearly clicking, just not quite there. He failed to deliver that time. It's with Dybala. Juventus keep possession and it's positive possession. Off the post and back in play. Well, Derek is really, really unlucky there. He thought he scored. Will he get another chance? Awkward in possession, Isco. Pjanic. Matsuidi. Now Quadrado. Here's Ronaldo. Well, first rate goalkeeping. Oh, he can't believe the goalkeeper saved that. That's brilliant. And delivered by Pjanic, betwixt and between that clearance. And the ball is in the net. The crowd have gone crazy, and quite rightly so. What a finish that is. Well, you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target. You can't score unless you do. And on this occasion, he does, and he scores. A chance to revisit the goal. Blistering first half display, and just look at that score. Modric unable to hang on to the ball. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Gorgeous ball from Dybala. He might be able to make it through. And the shot decidedly lacking accuracy. Well, he had other options as well, but he chose to shoot. A chance then for the respect. It's the opening match day. And so the second half is underway. Took quite the thrashing in that first 45. Can they turn things around now? Janic now. Here's Ronaldo. And Quadrado. And he takes up. Oh my goodness! What an outrageous hit! 
I can't believe he took it on from there, and neither can the goalkeeper. Well, just look at this. The keeper wasn't expecting it. He certainly wasn't. He was flat-footed and it's gone in. What a strike, though. And the goal again, albeit from a different angle. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Now, Matuidi. Joao Cancelo. Ronaldo. And Ronaldo takes on the shot. Corner coming up for Juventus. And a deep corner into the centre of the area. Thumped clear. Pjanic. Matuidi. Pjanic. Douglas Costa. The object. Douglas Costa in position. And he's done well to tip it over the bar. And that's gone out of play for what will be a goal kick. Modric. An abundance of space. And now can he keep calm? Over the byline, hence a goal kick. Costa, Pjanic, well he's been forced out of play this time, now Quadrado, Cristiano Ronaldo, Juventus, the old lady, they know how to keep the ball, what can they do from here? Straightforward piece of goalkeeping following that long shot lead. Yeah, concentration when the ball's in the air for that long, just get behind it, get your hands up. Douglas Costa, and they'll have to throw it back in play. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Rafael Varane. Here's Carvajal. Now Matuidi. Here's Ronaldo. Pjanic. And Quadrado. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Corner for Juve. Dybala with the corner keeper did his job to begin with and scope for the cross possibility and it's teed up for Ronaldo and the ball is in the net the crowd have gone crazy and quite rightly so what a finish that is well you tell youngsters in that position just to hit the target you can't score unless you do and on this occasion he does and he scores has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Tony Kors. I must say, no shortage of space. Carvajal. He's parted with the ball, Alexandro. Douglas Costa, he's in behind. Oh. 
Real Madrid have been awarded the free kick. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. been a thoroughly cogent and convincing performance in this match league creatively Juve have been top draw tonight the imagination of their passes their delivery of their crosses the execution of their goals top draw chance after chance they've created a real joy to watch and showing fine vision can he put it away oh the crossbar is still reverberating and the ball is in the net crowd have gone crazy and quite rightly so what a finish that is well it's not a brilliant goal but it's a goal it's in the back of the net keeper couldn't do anything about it it's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now now Casemiro Bale he had the sixth sense to know what to do and win it back this game is in the history books and Juventus have claimed all three points from their opening game of the Champions League season. Yeah, really, really strong start. That's what you need. But with five games to go, very important you stay in the now. One game at a time, Derek. Bit of a cliche.